fashionable and sort of packaged value pick with Tracy Reinick, value stock strategist here at Zax.com. The uh, fashionable one is uh, G3 Apparel Group. And you've talked yes. about this company before. I have. Um, it's been a little while and there have been some changes, but no one know, ever knows their name. Like, who are they? Nobody ever knows. Yeah. But they have a ton of the huge brands. They're licensed to make... Um, you know, clothing, accessories for a whole bunch of the big names like Jessica Simpson, Calvin Klein, mm -hmm. Tommy Hilfiger, all the names you've know. Uh, that's one key part of their business. They also operate their own retail stores through Wilson's, that's the leather goods. And then they just acquired last August this company, which I have to write it down because I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> it. It's Villa Brequin, something like that. You may know because they make men's swimwear, actually. I no, had to look it up. Can't vouch for you. Uh, they're French. <laughs> So that's why I had to write yeah. it down. Uh, they were founded probably in, another reason why I can't. <laughs> right. Founded in 1971, but they do sell here in the U.S. And they're, they're really upscale. They're like $240 for their swimming trunks. So wow. this is kind of a new angle that they're going in. But the analysts are really excited about this acquisition because they do think they can do a lot with the brand. Um, so we're going to see because they're, they have all these other accessories and other things with their other brands. Now they're expanding their own items. So, you know, they reported in early December. Um, they had a good quarter they beat on the third quarter. Mm -hmm. They um, had same store sales up 6.6%. That's pretty good given what we've seen going on with the rest of retail. That was also before the holiday season really kicked in, but um, you know, it's still pretty good. They were optimistic going into the holiday season. They raised earnings guidance. Um, you can see the estimates are starting to rise because they raised the guidance. They are expected to grow earnings about 19% this fiscal year and then another 13% next year, so double-digit earnings growth. Mm -hmm. This latest acquisition will probably boost the numbers a bit there, too. Um, and then, you know, the chart looks kind of interesting. They surged and then they've been kind of fallen back, which is what a lot of the retailers have been doing. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit more of a value stock play here. It's trading around 11 times, 12 times forward earnings, um, Zach's number one rank, and, you know, the story looks pretty good for them. Okay. I, I stopped wearing French swimwear years ago <laughs> for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> but um, do I detect maybe a half note of optimism on the retail sector from you, despite what's going on with sales? Some of them, yes. Um, I think it's going to be kind of pick and choose with some of the retailers. But a brand like this that's able to, um, you know, capitalize on its big names might have a little bit better go of it than, you know, certain ones. So, yeah, I, I don't think that the holiday season was as bad as some people thought. But okay. we're going to find out from them. They don't report again until March, so mm -hmm. that will be the holiday quarter for them. So we'll have to wait a little bit for them still. All right. The packaged up uh, pick is International Paper. Yes. They're one of the largest paper manufacturers in the world. And um, one of their huge things is really in the packaging side. That's the container board. And I talked about them a couple months ago, I think, yeah. where the container board story was really heating up. They were able to push through a price increase in the fall. And so that means their revenue is going up. Um, and, you know, people the analysts thought that this could be a good story because th these price increases were holding. And then we got some container board information in for November and October. And October was the lowest um, inventory like in like decades or something for containers. Mm. Um, so that also is putting a little bit of fire underneath the stock because if the inventory is low, what does that mean you can do for the prices? You might be able to push through another increase. Mm -hmm. November saw an increase in the inventory, is not surprising, coming off those lows, but it's still really low. So the analysts are encouraged that maybe in the first quarter we could see another price increase, which only will help these guys. Mm. Now, the winter is traditionally their slow time, so it would be unusual to see the increase then. But, you know, when you have the supply and demand dynamics like they have, more demand than there is supply, it's good for them. Um, you know, this year they saw earnings decline a bit here, but next year um, analysts think they're going to see a 43% jump. That's pretty big. The shares have soared while all this has been going on with the price increases, but still only trading around 12 times. Also pays a night's dividend, 2.9%. So you're getting a pretty good story here. Um, you know, I would check back in and kind of see if they're able to push through this price increase in, in the winter. But, you know, the paper in this container board story is a real positive one. Is it winter somewhere in this country? Well, I don't know. Not here in Chicago. <laughs> That's right. Not Maybe I'll wear one of the, you can wear one of the swimsuits soon. Oh, listen, <laughs> just don't give me any ideas, will you? Um, do you own either of these? I do not. 
Okay, well, you can check out more stock picks on our website. If you go to Zax.com, if you're not there already, just scroll down until you get to the module that says Zach's number one ranked strong buys. That's one place you can find more stock picks on Zax.com. With Tracy Reinick, I'm Terry Ruffalo.